Hello, Pokey Dudes and Pokey Dets. I am Pokey Dudes Red, and uh, this is Raccoon City Gym Leader. That's what I go by at the minute. Yeah, and we're playing Pokemon Girls of Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube. We're actually going to use Michael because it's actually his official name, so it just happens to be my name as well. So you don't know any of the plot, or do you know the plot, or? Um, so no. Okay, so basically, um, you play Colosseum, so you know about the Shadow Pokemon, yeah? Yeah, I, I definitely know about Colosseum and stuff. Yeah, so the idea is basically like Cypher and Team Snagum, because obviously Team Snagum used to get the Pokemon for Cypher and then they turned into Shadows. Pokemon. They've now They've now split, and Cypher is continuing to make Shadow Pokemon, but now they're like enhancing the process, so they have like more moves, because originally they just had like Shadow Rush, which is pretty shit, because it, it did loads of damage to you, as well as your enemy. But they're continuing to do it, and it's kind of been like quiet for seven years, and now they're like really active. And this, like Shadow Lugia, is the first that's like uncurable it's Pokemon. It's always seven bloody years, isn't it? It's always seven years. Yeah, it's seven's a magical number. It's like in Resident Evil, Wesker gives you seven minutes. It's like seven is, and in casinos, of course, you have seven, seven, seven. Seven's just a really lucky number for some people. I don't quite understand it. Mm. Okay, so this is a kind of tutorial battle. Uh, you have a Salamence, so not an, not an advantage there at all. And we can use Brit uh, Earthquake rather, because Brit Break wouldn't be super effective. And this will probably get down to about a third of health. There we go. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you basically can't lose this unless you use a move up with an Earthquake. If you just use Earthquake, you've won, because Sludge Bomb can poison you, it does a lot of damage. We'll defeat now Salamence, that's not something you see often. Yeah. And then Earthquake. And then, yeah, you won the game. So we're done. That was a very good playthrough. Thank you for watching, everyone. And we will see you in the... No. <laughs> I did that in my original playthrough. I, I won this battle and I was just pretending like it was all done. That was the game finished. Oh, my. Yeah, I got very, very quicker. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we've won that battle. Moving on. Ooh, look at that. Lovely effects. Pixels everywhere. And... Ta-da. Yeah, it was all a sim battle. That's actually something that they bring into this. They have like yeah. uh, sim battles, which are really cool. It's kind of like where you don't actually own the Pokemon. They're just sort of like they're simulated. <laughs> Wait, that old guy though. <laughs> that old guy. <laughs> this is your mum. She's a milf. Milf. She is a. Did he just say stiffy? I need to. I need to read that back in post. I'm sure he just said stiffy. I uh, don't know. Sure he did. There's nothing to worry about. Both. If he does, then of course we can. Edit some sound in there and make it funny. <laughs> her, oh, my sister's name is Jovi. I always call her Bon. Is in Bon Jovi. Oh, jeez. Yeah. The P Star D A. He's actually full of shit because P D A stands for Personal Digital Assistant, not Pokemon Digital Assistant. So it's full of shit. Uh, it's quicker to go this way because it's actually down. Poke Star Studio before Poke Star Studio was a thing. <laughs> actually, this is a laboratory. This is the first one that actually looks legitimately like a laboratory as well. So obviously Professor Oaks was just kind of a... It's like two deep stories. Oops, I accidentally opened that door. Now's not the time for that. <laughs> I think it... I don't remember what you said in this game. I've never actually tried. I don't think there's any items you can kind of use that are like... You should only use in certain circumstances. Now's not the time to use that. <laughs> I might try that just to see what it says. Because I don't think I've ever actually viewed it. I hmm. wonder whose room that is then. Uh, that's mine. And this is Jovi's because she has Plusle. Oh, it's Plusle. Yeah, exactly. She does this weird thing like, I don't remember what I was supposed to... Oh, I shit, swear I, I remember a Plusle from something else. Like the first game, that you get, you can get a Plusle in the game. Yeah, you can, because um, Jukin gives it to you, because he's, uh, he's a nice guy. Do you think that could be the same Plusle? Uh, it's not likely, because in the first game it's given to your character, who kind of disappears. Uh, if you're reading this email, then you must have obtained a PDA. Trying to evaluate Aiden was playing Honey City. Oh, okay, no, I have gone the right way. I haven't played this in a while, so I was kind of thinking if I've gone the right way or not. G-O-V. By the way, what kid has $5,000 when they start the game? Ah. That's ah, bull. Ah, that, that's um, actually yen. Yeah, no, I know it's yen, but it's, it's registered as pokey dollars, so. Yeah, that's because America. Yeah, because America. The Japs love America. They actually prefer England a bit more. <laughs> you can say prefer <laughs> Well, we do have the Will Adam Festival. Will Adam. We do, yes, and Yokosuya Way or something like that. It's like a Japanese road, or something. It's like named after Japanese. What Will Adam's Festival? I uh, no, 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 you know Top Road, the A2. It's, uh, it's yeah. called Yokosuya Way or something like that. It's, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's because we uh, we're like a, a sister city to a city in Japan, so 
Oh yeah, yeah we are. And yeah, we have like that little monument on the road as well, so. Yeah. So Britain first don't like us that much. But that's not a problem, because we don't like them. Anyway, moving Nobody on. Nobody likes Britain first. No, they don't, no. Stupid. Anyway, on to the game. So now I have to go to the big scary mansion. But first, I'm going to go around here, because there's a secret. And it's a box. Features that. Box. I think it's an awakening. I think it's like two free awakenings. No, it's and an antidote. Oh, okay. oh, wrecked. Uh, to be fair, you don't need awakenings in this game. Um, there's an option when you're battling in the bottom right where run would be that says call. And if you call a Pokemon, it actually wakes them up. So there's no point in having awakenings or anything like that in this game. And if, if people use yawn on you or shit like that, you don't. it doesn't actually make a difference. It's got a moped. <laughs> yeah, i got a moped. Uh, this is the mansion. It's got a nice Groudon figure, so that's kind of cool. Because Groudon is uh, my favourite from this gen. Which is, so of course, it's gen 3. Uh, I think Mewtwo! Somewhere around here as well. Uh, we're about to be startled by a little kid named Chobin. He's a dick. See? Nice lovely blue hair. Okay. You must be a burglar. Yeah, that's that's what I am, yes. Give me all of your shit. Yeah, burglar, we're just gonna walk... Burglar. <laughs> Bur bur burger. 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 <laughs> well, there burger. goes my, um, family-friendly channel rating. <laughs> what, burger? He said burger. <laughs> X-rated. Right, we use bites because we could flinch. Even um, though tackle is stab. Yeah, why don't I do that? All of a sudden I'm in the mood for McDonald's. God damn it, Christ. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's copyrighted, I imagine. Most likely. I take it back. Plus the name's not Ross, it's red. Oh yeah, we're doing a Pokemon play. You know I'm going to use tackle because it's stab. Let's see if we do extra damage for it. You'd like to think it would be yeah, okay. Okay. Tackle. Cool. How do you tackle? Oh, um, what you do is you spin in the air how for a does, while and then... How push. does one tackle? Okay, cool. cool. Just making sure everything was... Chubb in last. Yep. He dead. Oh. He's eat. Chubb in related to Egad. Pokemon and Mario <laughs> confirmed. Same universe. Nintendo verse confirmed. <laughs> Nintendo verse confirmed. <laughs> this is your sister. And I say her name's Jovi, so you might as well just agree with her because she's a bitch. Uh, we really, really need some um, egad music here. He's, he's, he's got the glasses for it and everything. He does. <laughs> chaka chaka. Oh yabo, oh yabo yabo, oh yabo yabo. Oh god. Plus he's near a haunted mansion. Yeah, that's true. So um. Because Egad, did, he didn't just make the uh, the vacuum cleaner in um, in Luigi's Mansion, he also made the uh, Flood in Mario Sunshine. And the paint. I page. am Flood. Ultra Dash. There you goes your rating. Yeah. No, um, he also he also made the paintbrush, which is Bowser Jr.'s final smash in Super Smash Bros. By the way, you're yeah. watching the event on uh, Sunday? Oh yeah. Because um... they're going to announce Ness as well, so. Ness? Lucas. Lucas, not Ness. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, geez. Professor. Oh, okay. Do you um, have a DeLorean out front? Oh, it's... Yeah, oh, what if this is the th past that leads to the Mario Bros. future? <laughs> or they're just relate all related to Egad and it's like, Egad somehow found his way somewhere. Yeah, if Dr. Kamenko is Egad's great, great, great grandfather. <laughs> uh, I always make a point, it says like they joined a party. It's like, what party? This isn't a party, it's just me. Okay, so now we have to go back to the lab. Oh. We got message. Okay, we have to go back to the lab. <laughs> Which is what I said. Shut up, Jovi! Okay, and... Oh, come on, she's only living on the prayer. Whoa, living on a prayer. Copyright, and we'll make it elsewhere. You're still singing. <laughs> That's two. I haven't sworn once yet. I'm doing my bet, my damnedest not to. Well, I did say I'll swear. Uh... Uh, it's one of the lyrics of the song. That's very clever. Um, in all seriousness, um, I'll probably swear once we start getting shadows that keep fainting on me because I'm known to do that. Uh, um, I always get told that's a problem in um, Colosseum, but the thing is, I always have hypno hyp hypnosis on my by my side. So. Yeah, um, Colosseum. I think you only have two chances to grab them because you like if you miss them, you can like get them back at the Rilgum Tower. But if you if you mess up there, that's it. You're done. Uh, with this game, you can see them with Mirabee. I'm not sure if Mirabee appears multiple times with different pokes. I'm fairly sure he doesn't. 
but I've never actually tested the theory because I've always caught them the second time because I've, I've been like, right, every, all my team can die as long as I capture this poke, it's fine. So I don't know if it's actually a thing. Hello, old man. Um, actually, a useful tip for Pokemon Fire Red, if you use Sableye against Mewtwo, um, all of Mewtwo's um, attacks wouldn't affect Sableye at all. Where the hell am I going? So you can just sit back and relax, throw, waste all that Pokeballs as you like just to catch Mewtwo. Just have Sableye on the team. What game is that? Fire Red? Fire Red. Because yeah. that, that goes out of Gen 3, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I believe you can also do it in... Um, um, Hot Gold Soul Silver as well. Oh no, I don't know where to go. Um, uh, oh god. Oh god. Um, um, jump cut? No. Okay. Um, I don't know where to go. Look for the most colourful person you see, that's usually the right thing. No, it's not them. It's, it's oh, the Pokemon! It's the professor, I've got to see the professor. I don't remember where the professor is. Professor! Now's not the time for that. I forgot where to go! God, oh, it might be him. Let's talk to him. Hello? I'm, I'm making good him. progress on data! It's not him. What about that door there? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, uh, the Psyduck. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, and Quagsire as well. I just realised I'm, I'm saying Quagmire stuff for him, and there's Quagsire. Oh, okay. I forgot, I have to talk to the old guy! God damn it! Oh, the old guy in the lab. The old guy there, then I can go to the lab and the professor's gonna be- See? See? He's there now. God damn it. Oh, I forgot about that. He's about to get kidnapped as well. So Hi there! <laughs> Has Aiden told you anything about the snag machine? Crane? <laughs> Crane? <laughs> oh dear. When I was young I called it the shag machine, not the snag machine. Uh, oh my. Yep. The same way I call Infernape Infernrape. Ah, yes. Yep. I can go from that. The reason yeah. behind that one, though, the Infernape thing, is because my Infernape is actually OP as hell because of its IVs, EVs, and nature. Look, I got this thing attached to my arm. Sweet! See, it makes no sense. It's like, oh, yes, now I can capture other people's Pokemon, despite the fact that you can do that in the original. It's just like they wouldn't let you. It's like the trainer got in the way. I mean, what, what is this ball? No! What happens now? Does the ball like go through the trainer, regardless of if they're standing there? Doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, in hacks, you can still... Yeah, I mean, people. you can still catch people's hacks. I mean, I captured, like, my brother, and I used to have loads of uh, friends who did uh, hidden... Play no, not hidden. Uh, what are the things in Ruby and Sapphire, like the secret bases? Uh, we used to battle them and then capture all their Pokemons, uh, because they were, like, they were, like, rare, or they were really well trained, so we used to just capture them. And then you could like use them competitively. So yeah. Okay, this is your first shadow um, tutorial battle. Look, he's dead. Yeah, he's he's actually he's been RKO'd. Uh, that dude has been um, tombstone, and Crane is well, he's he's probably gonna get well, he's probably gonna get something. He has um a very a very nice hair. Nice hair. Would you like uh, some moisturizer? You could use a shower. Okay, this is uh, this is like it's a stormtrooper. It... <laughs> I've never made that that link, but yes, it is a stormtrooper. Uh, yes, it's um, it's Commander Cody. Because it's yeah. Go Teddy Asara. So Teddy Asara is the first shadow Pokemon you can get. Now you, you can really mess around with Crane here. You can actually screw him around because he um, he's like oh hang on, first we do Scouter power level nine thousand. Anyway. Brink. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, so he's like, Michael, the aura reader is responding, there's a shadow Pokemon, hurry up and throw a Pokeball. <laughs> it's gonna be really- That's not it, throw a Pokeball! Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's throw a Pokeball. Let's throw them Pokies. Now this you can actually catch without actually trying, um, you don't- I think it's like 100% catch rate on this shit. You don't actually have to do anything. But this is a bit where it escapes from Pokemon, I look like a jackass. I just find it when the guy who tries to catch a Weedle in the original Pokemon games fails. It's like, oh, maybe I'm not as great as I used to before. It's like, you suck! <laughs> it's a Weedle! So. Smoke Weedle, leave me.
yeah. So I've got Teddy Ursa now, which is kind of cool. And now we're going to have like a... Yeah, that was my Shack Machine. Oh my god, the Shack Machine has returned. That's big news. That's oh, big no. news. It was a slow news day that day. So despite the fact I've just beat him in a battle, they still get away. So, you know, pokey villain logic is completely ruined by this. Because as we all know, if you defeat a Team Rocket, Team Aqua, Team Magma Grunt, etc. Then they have to stop their activities. It's part of law. If you beat them in a Pokemon battle, they must concede everything. But Team Team Cypher, oh no, no, even though you Actually, most team, mo team Grunts usually did run away, didn't they? Yeah, they, well, they, like, disappear. Yeah. I, that, was, uh, that was what I noticed on, like, um, when I was playing Pokemon Soul Silver, because I got back into that the other day. And uh, they, like, actually just disappear after the battle. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was um, the first Pokemon game, well, the Kanto Pokemon games. Um, all the... Um, it, had, it actually had their animation, yeah, like had them running away. It was um, really cool. In the rocket, in the Mount Moon, they wouldn't move. They would actually still be there after post game as well. Oh, cool. I have to check things. through this because, you know, my Fire Red's broken and. I have a copy of Fire Red, but it's glitched. So. Mm. I'm not blaming Pokedudes Black for that, by the way. Just if I point that one out. Oh, um. Even though he's a that, that is a misfortunate mistake that we get called Pokedudes so and so, but actually the team name is the Pokedudes and we are. Uh, I'm red and he's black. And... I'm not going to call him black, he's not black. <laughs> you know it, and the whole world has to answer. Yeah, moving on. So now I have to go to the ports, which is where there's going to be a massive plot twist. Now, you don't know the game, so I'm not going to reveal it. Thank you. Okay. But... Yeah, okay, come on, come on, come on. I want to I want to advance the plot. I, I want to advance the plot. Okay. So, now I get to go to the Gatton port because we have to get a part mm. to uh, fix, the C uh, fix the purification chamber. Yeah. Which wasn't a thing in the first game, but because obviously the first game ironed out an issue with purification, it took forever to purify. Oh yeah, just so, trying to get Celebi in there. Yeah, exactly. So the purification chamber, that now, that has a, oh for God's sake. That has like a four chamber system where you have Pokemon in each of the chambers, and so long as the type matchups are correct, so like if you're fighting, you know, super effective against dark, dark super effective against psychic, etc., then it creates like a flow. And if the flow is maxed, then it actually uh, brings down the purification meter quicker. And then once it gets to the bottom, the purification chamber can actually purify them, like you would at, say, Agate Village with the Celebi statue. So they brought that along, it's kind of a cool feature. Celebi! There's no time flutes in this I, game. I, I believe that, I believe this um, region is actually based off of a certain part of America. I never actually looked into it. It could very well be. Um, anyway, this well, is the first one was anyway. So there's the Krabby Club. But I believe it's the same thing. Any, it's the same region anyway, isn't it? Same what? Same region from um, the first game, isn't it? It is the same region largely, there are new additional bits and some things have changed. For example, you remember in the first game you had the under? That's now gone. Um, the Cypher Key Lair, uh, sorry, the Cypher Lair in the desert, which was where you got Raikou, uh, that's now the first place you actually go to, and uh, FYI they are still actually using that base. Uh, Mount Battle is the same, but it has, an, it has like the level system has been jumped around a little bit. Mm. It kind of has a massive difficulty jump between floors 3, no, uh, yeah, no, it's three and four. Like you, you're you're just battling like level tens and elevens, and out of nowhere you get a f funny right shoot, <laughs> and it's like hi. Okay, so this is Zangus, and here's some old dude with some guys who, well, they they must be twins or some description. Just look at them earlobes. Yeah, oh, I actually thought for a while that those may be like pearls or something. Like he's got earrings, but they're not. He, those are actually earlobes, which is rather disturbing. When you think about it. So this one, this one is just a. I do nothing here. So yeah, Mystery so. man, arm dose, Alakazam. His Alakazam is really strong. I'm not just saying that because it one shots the sun goose. Bang. So yeah, Zangus dies. Shadow Zangus as well. Yes, I was hoping you'd clock that. It is a Shadow Zangus. So Zook's been defeated, but we don't get any money. I think my Eevee could have taken it, you know. What level was that Eevee again? Uh, ten. Ah. <laughs> no wonder it could have taken it. Oh yeah, no, I mean it was only like, you know, 18 levels above it. 
So my only problem with the first um, one of these um, home console Pokemon games, mm -hmm. um, Colosseum, it was that most battles were um, double battles, and I'm more of a single battle fan. They are. They were all double battles in Colosseum. You do get single battles in this one, but not against trainers. All trainer battles are doubles. Uh, the only time you'll ever have a single battle is against a Pokemon in the wild, because in Colosseum you couldn't battle wild Pokemon. In this one you can. Oh, so you can actually catch wild Pokemon? Yes, but there's only a selection of a few Pokes that you can catch. Um, you can get a Trapinch, Surskit, um, Sandshrew, I'm trying to think. A Zubat, obviously, but Zubat's not that great. Zubat everywhere! Well, would you believe it's in a cave? Um, no. Yeah, Zubat in a cave, I know. It's that, that's how pathetic. rare? How rare is that? That's absolutely pathetic. Apparently, according to uh, according to Anthony as well, uh, Black. Apparently, you can actually get shinies in this game as well. I never knew that. I thought that actually the coding specifically restricted you from getting that, but uh, apparently you can. So that's interesting. Well, if you can, you can you can connect it up to the. Um, other yeah, I, I know it has the facility games, to so. show you like shinies, but um, was I supposed? To? Yeah, I was supposed to talk to this guy. Uh, this is also the guy who gives me the um, who gives me the evolution stone. Okay. Incidentally, obviously uh, the games before this, silver, you needed like sun and day. So for that, they've got a moon shard and a sun shard, which are exclusive to this game. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's kind of how you would be able to trans uh, sorry to evolve them into uh, old Umbreon or Jol. Thunderstone. Umbreon or Espeon, respectively. So you're so lucky, big brother. Joe, if you want something too, I'll give you a fucking punch in the mouth. Ah, oh, I swore. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so now, if I remember correctly, I have to walk up to this guy, and he swaps the bridge for me. So this is a really good system. This this doesn't make you dizzy at all. No, it wouldn't. I can imagine being the arsehole who, like, someone's just about to walk off the platform, I just swap it and make them fall off into the water. That'd be me. Yeah, I could... yeah. I wonder where he was as well, because there's only, like, a lighthouse over there. I wonder where his eyes are. Uh, they're under his hat, but you can see because logic. Well, actually, now would be a good time to catch some pokes. There's some shadows over here, so I'm going to go grab them. Alright. Yep. Now, this person, I believe, has... Lady Bar? Yeah, he has Lady Bar, and the girl upstairs has Poochiana. Now, Poochiana, obviously, we're keeping. Poochiana is going to go into our team. I've just realised I could cut a little bar into the post... And make uh, all the Pokemon on the list. Mm -hmm. So many ideas! <sighs> yeah, there's the Shadow Lady gone. Yeah, that means a bit more work for us. For me. <laughs> but that's cool, I can do that. Anyway, um, Teddy Ursa is significantly stronger than Eevee, even at its level. Like, Eevee will be like two levels on top of it in a bit, and Teddy Ursa will still be stronger. Especially against non Shadows. Because Shadow Blitz is just massively powerful. But it failed. I think Shadow Shed like gets rid of uh, like light screen and such. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I mean. Teddy Ursa is just really strong at the beginning of the game, so it's really helpful. It was at level six. But yeah, I mean that that taken aside, even at level six stats, level eleven stats, it still shouldn't one shot. Mm. But I mean, obviously, yeah, it's super effective. So it's one point five multiplier. No. And there, there's your damage for Eevee. I mean, it's how just... do you buy it? Oh, just jump in the air, spin around a while, and then how does one buy it? Boom. Now, Lady Bart is really weak despite that, so, I mean, even though, I think there's like this this way in which the game processes its, uh, its type matchups and levels and such, because even though they may be super effective against you and like five levels above you, yeah. if they're a random trainer, they don't do a lot of damage. I think the game actually has specific stats for different people. Because if you if you fight like an admin later, they're actually really strong by comparison to these guys. Right. These guys do like no damage. So it's kind of cool. But yeah, we're just whittling away at this lady bar. Obviously, Eevee is doing the most. Now give me a sec. No, you did. Thanks. A bit weird. What's the bit weird? Nope. I am definitely seeable. Am I seeable? Yes, you are. Sick. Actually, now would be a good time to try and catch it. This would be the bit right. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you had to buy Pokeballs at the beginning of the game or if it automatically gave you one. <laughs> that would be awkward. Okay, so hopefully we can catch a straight off the bat, because then we can move on to Poochiana and get our team developed. Mm. Mm. One, two... 
Ah, oh, very nice. Okay. Da, 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 I don't think it does that noise. It's been a while since I played it. It could still do that noise. I'm not sure if it does that. Oh no, my ladybug. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, jeez. What am I going to do now? Oh, damn it. I'm really going to have to train that, that Talo now. Uh, okay, and then we have the light. Okay, I, was, I thought it was going to go the other way. Okay, I might screw myself over a little bit. Just remember I have to go to the right. Remind me of that in a bit, yeah? Yeah. Sick. You can go to the um, right. Pokeballs, three of them. Oh, okay, awesome. It has the um, white 2 mechanic of giving you too much stuff. <laughs> Seriously, some of the later Pokemons give you so much good shit. I always forget you can go in this, by the way. Yep. And then at the top here... We have this butch woman over here. Sorry, did I say butch? I meant bodybuilder. You there, like a trainer. You look really weak. Well, that's not very nice. Oh god, that is scary. <laughs> scary Mary. No, I named Kellen. Why is it Kellen? Oh. <laughs> I actually didn't even look at her name, I just went, it's Scary Mary, and then you was like, no, it's Kellen. It's like, Why is it Kellen? Because that's her name. It's Kellen. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so... Same thing as before. Um, what does it say about a power level? I don't know. That was so bad. I was expecting you to go somewhere with that. I really was. I was like, give me a really good one liner. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, tackle does sun damage. That's good. Because obviously, bite and shadow blitz are now not very effective, so we're kind of cornered on what moves we can use. <laughs> no, it's your bad. Teddy Ursa, you better use that speed EV nicely. I won't actually get to use it, because I'm not actually going to train him, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, yet. I don't like, like, Teddy Ursa I don't like. He's really good in the opening of the game, because he's like a powerhouse and he actually has nice defense. Fuck you. Oh, here's a critical hit on a Pokemon you didn't want to get a critical hit on. Fuck you, Eevee. Well, there's no way of getting that back again, is it? There is. Try talking to them again? Well, Mirror B hasn't shown up yet, so the game doesn't register that. Uh, I think I have to go back down the stairs, and then I can, like, refight it. Well, look at it this way. We get more experience, and the game takes longer. Thanks, <laughs> Eevee. <laughs> well done. I'll give you another bell. Okay, cool. Come I just, on, have, to, I just have to go through one stage, that's all. Bodybuilder Scary Mary wants to give you a bell. Kill him. Scary Mary. Kill him. Krillin. Wait. No. Krillin. 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 <laughs> Just chilling with my Krillin. We have a death counter. Because <laughs> it's Krillin. Yes, we're very well aware that it's a shadow Pokemon. Oh no. It's a shadow Pokemon. Am I sure that's the right move to use? So, yeah. Let's just hope it doesn't crit. <laughs> That's two speed EVs now, Teddy Ursa. You better be quicker than Eevee. You know, you can't. Oh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I, I, I'm cool with that because I can use that in this battle. The Shadow Horde basically just means can't escape, so it's pretty useless in this, in this situation. It's just Teddy Ursa doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Teddy Ursa doesn't like. I love its face. When it learns lick, it pulls the happiest face ever. Well, like on there. Uh, it, it, it pulls a really good. No, not on the icon. No, it's actual facial expression in the game. Ursa. It has an amazing face. Oh, keen to its senses from the trainer's call. Cool. It's that. Look at look at his ears and tail. What? what? See his ears and tail. But... If it only did that much damage, how come a crit killed it? Ev. Does it learn lick? Because if so, well, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, watch. Watch. It's really cute what it does. That's awesome. How does that work? Because it's spinning its tail so fast that it hovers. Haven't you ever seen Rayman? Anyway, watch, watch, watch. Boom! <laughs> that was a crit. <laughs> Paralyzed as well, that'd be not oh. Paralyzed as well, I'd be happy about that. Ah! Eevee! Eevee! No! Mm. Oh, I forgot I had Ladybug. Shows how much attention I care. Six. 
That's a lot of HP. We could, we could very easily win this battle with that much HP. Any thoughts on to why I'm going to name Pucciano? Um. No. I'd guess Bloodborne. No. J just no. Oh, that was okay, easy. so we caught Pucianus, that's good. Now we'll go heal Eevee, because Eevee, Eevee is my main. And... Eevee! My Pokemon was too weak. But now it's mine! <laughs> Yay! Yay, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, you were not conned. You're just, oh, God, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons! I'm clicking all the wrong buttons! So we'll put Pucciana there. Yeah, you also might want to heal some people. Actually, I didn't. T I didn't check stuff. Sassy. It's not a timid picture. I'm trying to think what Sassy does. Mm. We're gonna have to look that up at some point because if it's a Sassy nature, then I may have screwed myself over by getting a Jolteon. And it doesn't matter too much in the long run because, like I mentioned, there's like stat differences that make it really easy to win this game. But if Sassy nature like lowers special attack or speed, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. If all if all your comment section is just points about sassy nature being really really bad for us. Oh um. What comment section? Oh yeah. How do I get to that stuff? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I'm joking. Um. So that's the awakening that I mentioned. You don't actually need that. The game doesn't. It it basically requires no thought to awaken a Pokemon. Else. And hello. Not you a rat child not taking an elevator. My, my. You're looking very nice and fit and healthy today. Must be where you didn't take the elevator. <laughs> Do you exercise often? Hmm. Those are some sweet thighs. Mm. Oh, my. <laughs> I'll try to have it with that. <laughs> Shower sheet. We need your trousers for when you used to exercise in the summer and get all sweaty. Yep. Sweet Jesus. I love her, he's so, he's so funny. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab the part. You now. need to go to the right as well. Uh, yeah, that was what I meant for the thingy. Now I'm gonna grab all the right. piece. This is totally legal. Hi. Come oh, and I transport as well. I'm really good at this. Boop. Picks up nothing, closes door. That's a really elaborate lock system. It's actually pretty useful. There's his eyes, you can just look, you can just like make him out just there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we should head to the centre. A rare item for a rare child. Because you know, I don't take elevators. I walk. Yeah! <laughs> Damn it! Where are the sunglasses? I don't have sunglasses. Technically my glasses turn into sunglasses. <laughs> just, I'll just like in post put sunglasses on our faces. <laughs> well, um, pause the clip and... No, just have it still playing but put sunglasses on our face. Oh wait, no, I have to. Oh, we've got to make sure it's those pixel shades.